Okay, in this video, we will determine the points of intersection for two circles. So we want to know at what points will x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 and x squared plus 8x plus y squared is equal to 33 intersect. And so the first question we need to understand, what does the statement even mean? So here's an example. This is one circle and this is another circle. So we want to know at what points will this circle and this circle intersect. And for this case, it'll be here and here. And for this case, it'll be right here. And for this case, it won't intersect. And so for this problem, we want to know at what points, if any, will this circle and this circle intersect. And so let's begin. Okay, so the first step I will do is modify this equation right here, the second equation, using the equation of a circle. And so what I need to do is use completing the square. So here I have an 8x, so I'll say plus. This piece here, I get 8, and I divide it by 2, and I square it. And if I do it on one side, I have to do it on the second side. And so 8 divided by 2 is 16, and so I have to add 16 here, add 16 here. And so now I can factor this piece. I would get parentheses x plus 4 squared plus y squared is equal to 49. And now I have equation 1. I'm going to rearrange equation 1 and keep y squared. And so I would get y squared is equal to negative x squared plus 25. I simply move the x squared over to the right. Next, I will swap equation 1, this equation here, into equation 2. And so I would get parentheses x plus 4 squared plus, now I have a y squared. Instead of saying y squared, I'm going to swap this piece here, negative x squared plus 25. So minus x squared plus 25 is equal to 49. Now I will expand. So this piece, I will square it. So parentheses x plus 4 times parentheses x plus 4. And I would get x squared plus 8x plus 16 minus x squared plus 25 is equal to 49. And now I'll group. So x squared and negative x squared cancels. So 16 plus 25 is 41. And I move it to the right. So I say minus 41, minus 41. And I get 8. And then we have an 8x. So 8x is equal to 8. And so x is equal to 1. So now we know one piece. So now I'll plug x is equal to 1 into the first equation here. So x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. x is equal to 1, so I get 1 squared plus y squared is equal to 25. So y squared is equal to 24. So we take the square root of both sides. And if we do that, we need to say plus or minus the square root of 24. And so here, 24. So we can say 4 times 6. So we would get plus or minus 2 times the square root of 6. And so the point of intersection will be 1 comma 2 square root of 6 and 1 comma negative 2 square root of 6. And we can always check. And so I'm going to plug these values back into both of these equations to verify that we would get 25 and 33. So we plug x is equal to 1 and we plug y is equal to 2 square root of 6 and negative 2 square root of 6. And so we would get 1 plus 4 times 6, so 1 plus 24 is 25. Likewise, same thing, we also get 25. So the second equation, so x is 1, x is 1, and y is 2 square root of 6 and negative 2 square root of 6. And so this is what we get, so 1 plus 8 plus 4 times 6, so we get 1 plus 8 plus 24, and so 9 plus 24 is 33, and so it's a match. And that's pretty much it for this video.